My name is Captain Richard Burr. I'm retired from the fire service, spent 30 years in the fire service, lived off grid for 15 years, was an early pioneer of solar, and got into the safety side of solar because of being a firefighter for 30 years. So we've done R&D for 20 years. I've been teaching firefighters around the world for 10 years, and now I'm starting to teach and share what we've tested in the fire service to the solar industry. So we did research on what is causing fires with solar. And one of the major problems that we're seeing is arc faults from high voltage DC at the inverter. So the idea, guys, when we talk to the solar industry, is to put solar panels on everybody's roof and storage and EV vehicles. How's that going to be a problem for us? So I'm like, at nighttime, it's off. Yep. During the day, how do you turn off? And what's the voltage? This is 600 volts. And I'm like, 600 volts DC. I travel across the world and talk to firefighters and go, show me in your district where a house runs of 600 volts DC. Show me a home anywhere that the main infrastructure is 600 volts DC. There isn't. And then the London Fire Brigade go to me, Rich, that's the voltage of the third rail on the underground that runs the underground. They're putting that in people's homes. Yeah. Yeah. That's how the London Fire Brigade went. Yeah. Yeah. So they. Across the world, the firefighters are saying, why aren't we going to an AC architecture? It's been around 100 years. It works. Shit yeah. doesn't burn down in people's homes yeah. because of the 50 hertz, too, yeah. right? Yeah. And if you touch it, you've got 100 chances per second yeah. to let go of it. If a firefighter gets yeah. hold of 600 yeah. volts DC, what's he going to do? Yeah. 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 Where are the fires starting with solar? So we. It starts, a lot of the starts are right at the connection of the high voltage DC going to the inverter. So one of the first questions was, from the fire service side, was how do you shut the power off on a working fire? We pull up, you got high voltage DC on the roof, coming down to an inverter, how do we turn it off? Okay, every firefighter follows this everywhere around the world. So when you have a fire, as a, as a captain, I'm not going to risk my firefighter's life to save you. This is not going to happen. He's number one, you're number two. Does that make sense? So firefighter life safety is number one for us. We're not going to kill a bunch of firemen to save other people. It just doesn't work in our world. So we try and look after the firefighter first. So I said, if we have the fire department responding to a home with high voltage DC that you can't shut down, what happens is basically we're not going to do our job like normal because we're going to be exposed to that. And if you're exposed to 600 volts DC, you're going to do it one time. So we said, OK, it's going to fix, affect civilian life safety. And they said, how does it affect life safety? Well, if we can't shut it down, we're not going to do aggressive interior fire attack because we don't know where the high voltage is. And we can't interact with that voltage because we can't turn it off. And so the insurance company started asking us, whoa, whoa, whoa. So what you're saying is you're not going to put the fire out? We're like, no. If we can't turn this electricity off, we ain't going to put the fire out. So we're just going to burn the house down, pretty much. Yep. That's the answer. Yep. So right there is our fundamental basis of high voltage DC. We said, OK, if you want to play in that realm, are you telling your customers, we're going to let you burn your house down? They've got to know that because we can't go interior. So that's when the microinverter kind of came into our world. And we said, all right, what's this thing? And we looked at the microinverter. And that's when Enphase said to us, the fire service, listen, you put it under the panel, it makes AC electricity. We're like, explain this. Like, where's the first thing we said is, where's the high voltage DC? There isn't. Bullshit. We don't, you know, we're like, where's the fucking high voltage? Don't lie to us. Where's the high voltage DC? They said, there's 60 volts DC coming out of the panel. It goes into a microinverter. We're like, OK, microinverter on each panel. OK, so what the f comes out is the same infrastructure that the fire service has used for 100 years and is very safe. Mm -hmm. 230, 50 hertz. Across the world, we're used to that. Does, does that make sense? So we started looking at this and said, OK, we've got to do some testing on this. This is where Enphase went, we're doing the right thing. <laughs> we're like, f yeah, you're doing the right thing. Just out, this is just physics, chemistry, and math. This is nothing else, right?